welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools, and today we are here to talk about DIY weekend warrior level power tools, cordless power tools to be precise, and we are going to find the best power tools for you for your weekend project. We know spring is in the air, summer's around the corner, it's time to fix up the old homestead, so let's go out there and find the best bang for the buck for the weekend warrior. Now to set the stage... Let's talk about what the pros use. And I'm going to use as a baseline here, the Milwaukee M18 cordless combo brushless system. So Milwaukee has a brush, a brushless, and the brushless fuel system, the three different tiers there. And this is their middle of the road with your average, you know, it, it's good. It's not the best, but it's not, not the worst. Uh, so it's a 199. Now, DeWalt and Milwaukee and Makita and all the other ones, they don't have options like this. And yes, they do have some less expensive options, but their basic level options are, are, are very thin and they're just there to get you into the system to move you up to the higher level options. So this is just letting you know, the pros use this. You're looking at $200 for a pro. You should be looking at around a hundred bucks for a combo kit like this for a consumer weekend warrior level and probably around 150 for like your, your, uh, your uh, prosumer level. So, Let's talk about the 800 pound gorilla of weekend warrior tools, and that is Ryobi. The Ryobi system here. Now, this is not on sale. This is the full retail price is $129. On sale, you'll quite often see this for under $100. This has their new version or newer version of their drill driver. It's got the impact driver. You got two batteries, 1.5 amp hour batteries, a charger, and a bag. This is a really decent, basic entry level system. I'm not a fan of the charger. I like a bigger base or something, but at least it's the kind where you can actually pop. You can leave it sitting there on your desk. You pop the battery into it. It does all the work and everything. Uh, I don't like the ones that are reverse where they're super lightweight and they, they pop on, onto the battery. Uh, I find that they get tossed around the bench too much. I would prefer more of a, a larger base level charger like the older Ryobi chargers, but still at a hundred bucks for this combo kit, it's not bad. Now what makes Ryobi really great is they've made this dedication to this battery system. Uh, it, it's a weird looking battery if you're used to all the other slide in batteries. It is definitely different looking. But they made a commitment years ago when they were still in the NICAD batteries that they would not change the battery platform and that you would have uh, interoperability between the tools moving forward. And they've, they've stuck to it. You know, God bless them for that. But you can get your base level here, drill driver here for $79. The thing is with um, Ryobi, much like Milwaukee and others, is they also do the good, better, best kind of thing. All the way up to, say, something like this. This is their 18-volt cordless uh, hammer drill for $159. This is brushless. Tom line. This thing is a, it's a beast. It's a great, great tool. And you see there's that full, uh, full line charger there that I, I prefer. But that said... You don't have to go with that. There, there's there's different options, and you can save a lot of money and still get the job done with Ryobi. They have some great starter kits. You've got the drill cirque saw, saw kit there for one twenty nine. Again, these are just these are our list prices. These are not your sale price. There's a few special buys in here. Over here, we can see the uh, the the three tool combo kit with the drill driver, with the impact, with the cirque saw, with the bag for two forty nine. They have some really amazing deals with Ryobi. In fact, here's a great example of why Ryobi rocks. Uh, I know <laughs> Chuck and some others, not a fan of Ryobi. Everyone's, you know, welcome to their opinion. But if you're a homeowner, just tr especially if you're a new homeowner and you're trying to, you know, up your DIY game, this combo kit right here, you get a drill driver, an impact, a multi-tool, a recip saw, a circ saw, two batteries, a flashlight, a bag, charger, for $300. That, that is a absolutely fantastic one and done kind of deal. But again, one of the biggest benefits with Ryobi is how many tools they have, but not just in the tool system, but also in outdoor power equipment. We got uh, pull saws, we got chainsaws, we've got blowers, there's trimmers, there's all sorts of stuff. They have a little ton of tools when it comes to outdoor power equipment. Okay, another line you might want to consider over at Home Depot and some other places is the new skill line. Now, these are made by Shervon, and they've got a couple different levels. They've got their brushless and their brush. But as you can see here, you can get a drill driver and impact for $100. And that's that seems to be the regular price on that. 
There may be even better sale prices out there. This is a new tool line. They're rolling out new tools every day. So expect this line to be expanded. Currently, I'm not finding anything in the 20 volt lineup for outdoor power equipment though. So I hesitate to say that this isn't uh, one of the best choices out there, but it is by, by all tests, everyone who's looked at this really raves about these tools and say, says they're well made. Now let's jump over to Lowe's. Lowe's, again, the, the ex-king who's been dethroned from the DIY world is Black & Decker. Black & Decker used to have an amazing uh, solution of tools. Now there's, there's, just, there's just not much there. Really. Now, granted, I will say this, they do still have a decent line of outdoor power equipment. you got blowers and trimmers and chainsaws and, and hedge trimmers and pole trimmers and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but it, it's if you want just that tool, yeah, I can see it because they're cheap enough to do that. Now, one tool line here that a lot of people talk about is the Matrix line, which is this is a really cool tool where the, the head on it comes off and you can put on different power heads. you got... Uh, a sander, you got a recip, you've got a jigsaw. There's all sorts of stuff. Here's the problem with it. Currently unavailable. I went to Black & Decker's website. They didn't really have much information, but when you went to go where to buy, we're sorry, we couldn't find any sellers for this product. With it, be, it used to be the big seller at Walmart, but with that being phased out recently with Black & Decker getting the, you know, <laughs> getting the boot and being shown the door, uh, I don't think this is going to be very available unless they find another outlet for it. It might be the end of the matrix system. Now, still over at Lowe's, Porter Cable. I know a lot of people are going to like, hey, what about Porter Cable? Well, Porter Cable is kind of a middle of the road, usually a prosumer one. That's also why we didn't cover Rigid over at Home Depot. On top of that, they're kind of getting kicked to the curb by Craftsman. Now, Craftsman's got two levels. They've got a brushed and a brushless level. The brushless level gets into that prosumer kind of price range, but the brushed ones are definitely solidly in that home DIYer weekend warrior kind of level. You can see the 20 volt here impact driver for $59. So when you once you get a combo kit together and everything else on that, they really do come in at that price point. And there is an excellent selection of tools in the Craftsman lineup. They've been really just banging them out. They have a ton of tools. On top of that, they've also started rolling out a good selection of outdoor power equipment. And I keep including the outdoor power equipment because if you're the home homeowner, DIYer type, being able to use your power tool battery line outdoors to do more stuff around the house, that is kind of the epitome of the weekend warrior. So we've got blowers, we've got trimmers, we've got hedgers, uh, we've got chainsaws the whole nine pole saws, the whole nine yards here. Now, Cobalt, I'm, I know I'm only putting this in here because somebody's gonna ask about Cobalt. Cobalt is what I'm gonna say is a prosumer level tool. So we're not gonna really cover it. Although I will say this, they do have a decent selection of outdoor power equipment. Uh, we've talked about it before. I have the trimmer and the blower, maybe a kind of borderline here. They might have some that might creep into when on sale and they do have some great sales. Uh, you might find them in that kind of prosumer level, or I should say the DIYer kind of level. Now, Harbor Freight, we got to talk about the Bauer. Now, the Bauer is kind of, it's kind of that borderline between the prosumer and the homeowner. Uh, but again, when it's on sale, it kind of nudges into that, that, that slot. It was definitely set up to compete with Ryobi and uh, in, into that middle, the upper end Ryobi stuff, into that middle realm prosumer kind of tool. But they also have a excellent selection of outdoor power equipment, chainsaws, trimmers, blowers, everything. Right angle drills, impact drivers, impact wrenches. You know, I have the blower in this. I have the, the hedge trimmer, the Cirque saw, the, uh, I really like this lamp here, the, the, the work light. They got inflators. They got all sorts of things. Now, again, you may not be a big fan of the 90-day warranty. Maybe you want to get the extended, you know, instant replacement. That's an option. But definitely want to throw that out there to make sure that you're aware of that. Let's talk about Walmart. So Walmart is, oh, you know, we said Ryobi was an 800-pound gorilla. Well, <clears throat> this is the mastodon in the room. Walmart said, you know what? We see all this money you guys are making with power tools. We want to be a part of that. So they contacted TTI, the same guys who make Milwaukee and Rigid and Ryobi. And they said, we want a power tool line of our own. And so TTI said, we can do that. And 
just out of nowhere. And it takes time to fully fledge out a, a power tool line. Man, they just ripped this out. They're obviously working behind the scenes on this for years. Just a massive, massive launch of tools. I mean, we got lawnmowers, we got chainsaws, we got full tool sets here for 178. That gets you the impact, the drill driver, the light, the recip, the bag, the charger. One thing I will say about Hart that I'm not thrilled with is they do use that charging system where the charger slides on the battery. So the charger kind of flops around or hit put in a drawer or something. If you're looking for a nice, clean workstation, it's not my favorite. Uh, I will say, though, uh, I do have, they did send me the trimmer to review, and they did send me their high-end jet blower. Now, these were in the 40-volt line, but wow, <laughs> they got some power. But that said, the, when you look at this, the, uh, you've got the, the brush. They have a brushless system here for 178 Honestly, I think some of the prices need to come down on these things waiting to see them get stabilized and then start seeing some rollbacks. But I mean, they've got a 40 volt backpack blower. Jeez Louise. They, as I said, they're rolling out a ton of stuff. Uh, they, they've got even got the, the little cordless grinder, much like the Ryobi one. There's a lot of options over at Walmart. Now we're getting into kind of the fringe stuff here. Works so good. It just works. Works has always been, what to me has always been this as seen on TV company, kind of gimmicky, a little bit cheesy, but I've tried some of their stuff. I've done some testing and I got to say the quality is not bad and a lot of it works. I've used their trimmers and their blowers. I've tried a drill driver and as I said, they, they just work. I, in fact, I rather liked the trimmer. Uh, the blower was decent enough. The, the, for the, the drill driver I used was basic homeowner grade and that's what we're talking about here. But they have, you know, here's a combo kit. You get a flex head snake lamp, a, uh, a a jigsaw, and a drill driver with two batteries, a charger, and a bag for 140. Uh, they've got the little handheld circ saw. These things are great for ripping sheet stock. I know a lot of you look at this and go, "What am I going to cut with that?" Man, if you're tearing down uh, large pieces of uh, plywood and stuff, these things are fabulous for that. Uh, they, and they are real innovators. This is a clutchless, uh, basically smart clutch. It knows exactly how far it's supposed to go, how much power it's supposed to put out on the drill driver. Here's their exact track for using a straight edge. One side lifts up and rides perfectly along that straight edge. It's a neat little system. Here's the little one hand recip saw. Uh, here's another, there's a two hand recip saw. As I said, they're not afraid to innovate. Sometimes it gets a bit gimmicky with this dual head. So you got, you can, uh, have a drill uh, bit on one side and your drill driver on the other, your driver point on the other one. So you can swap back and forth. So instead of having two tools, you use one. But again, I just want you to consider them because they do have also a excellent selection of lawn garden. In fact, these guys have a affordable, and I say affordable, now granted it's a, not running off the same battery system, but they've got robotic mowers. Come on, robotic mowers. <laughs> anyway, as I said, they've got the trimmer system. They've got the blowers. They've got uh, handheld uh, little shrub trimmers. They've got pressure washers. They've got it all. And, you know, you can order online, get shipped directly to you. Free shipping on most of this stuff, if not all of it. Maybe if you're just looking for that, you know, weekend work and stuff, maybe you want, you want to consider works. All right. Now, I don't often talk about a lot of regional stuff. But again, you know, these days of the Wuhan and whatnot, we've learned that ordering online is a thing. So we're going to talk about Menards. If you don't know what Menards is, Menards is like the, uh, they're like Home Depot and Lowe's. They're in the same kind of class, but they're regional, mostly in the Midwest, Mideast. Uh, they, they're fairly decent size. About a third of the country is covered, if not more, is covered by Menards. And this is their house brand, Master Force. As you can see here, we got a Master Force 20-volt, half-inch impact wrench, tool only, after rebate, $56. That, that's a pretty good deal. We got the cordless drill here for $61. They have a ton of rebates that they do. Now the rebates though, here's the drawback on the rebates. As I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, they're in store only. So they're credit for your next purchase. But check this out. Master Force Flex Power 20 volt cordless bandsaw tool only, $66. We got to include these guys when you're looking at DIY kind of stuff. They have a huge selection of tools and the prices are, you know, you got to say they're fairly affordable. 
especially if you can do the meal mail in rebate thing. I'm not a fan of mail in rebates. I instant rebates are, are, or that's it. As far as I'm concerned, I've been screwed over too many times by, you know, mailing in a rebate and then forgetting about it and never getting it. But they do have a lot of options and they do scale up. They have some higher end tools. Here we see the cordless brushless uh, hammer drill here for, uh, was it 159.31? Anyway, the, and yes, they do have some outdoor power equipment to go along with it as well. Not a huge selection, but they do have some just the basics. You got your trimmer, your blower, your hedger, and they have two types of, of blowers. So you have a couple options there. In fact, they look surprisingly similar to the Cobalt. Like if you look at the Cobalt trimmer and then you look at the Menards trimmer or the Master Force, surprisingly similar. Now I'm going to talk about one more kind of out there kind of option. And that is what if instead of going 18 slash 20 volt or even 24 volt, what if we scaled it back and went 12 volt? What would you think for the average DIY homeowner of going with Milwaukee's 12 volt system it this is something that i'm going to throw out there because i think you should consider it they there's a lot of power in these new 12 volt tools <laughs> they're not your grandfather's you know 12 volt tools if your grandfather with 12 volt tools anyway point is i've used these i've tried them they've got a ton of power and other than your very upper end level like if you're seriously doing big work these are going to do most of it you get this combo kit here you get the drill driver, the impact, and the one hand resip with the light, the battery, the charger, and the bag for 250 and you're getting uh, Milwaukee quality here. And remember, Milwaukee comes with a five-year warranty, and they've been excellent about standing behind it. And they have a ton of tools in this M12 lineup, probably one of the largest, if not equal to. I think Makita's got a good selection of M12 or 12-volt stuff, but I think Milwaukee might have them edged out just a bit. But there's a lot of options, and they have everything you're going to need. Lights, they've, they've got circ saws, they've got resip saws. And then if you need more power, they have the fuel lineup also. So you can get an M12 fuel. Now, granted, it's going to be a bit pricey, but it's going to, it's going to put out the power that you need in a small, easily portable, won't wear you out using it all day kind of form factor. Now, one detractor is they don't have any outdoor power equipment in the M12 lineup that I could find. But what they do have is heated outdoor wear. Yeah, summer's around the corner, but winter, oh, she always comes back around, doesn't she? And look at this. The missus has one of these, and she absolutely loves it. Uh, you know, there's just nothing quite like having heated gear when the weather is nasty outside, and you still have to be out there. Anyway, there you go. There you have it. That's your uh, homeowner DIY weekend warrior level power tool equipment rating. Now, which one's the best? I know that's what you're waiting to hear, Bear. Which one's the best? Well, you know, <laughs> you know how the bear says it's all about the tool, right tool for the right job. Ryobi clearly has the biggest selection that's out there. You know, <clears throat> <clears throat> Ryobi clearly has the biggest selection of power tools out there in the lineup. So it'd be easy to say to go with them. Personally, I'm not a fan of the battery style. There's some other caveats with Ryobi. I don't think you can really go wrong with them, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to say that's the best one out there. I have the Bauer lineup. I love the Bauer lineup. For full disclosure, I was also given the Bauer lineup by Harbor Freight. I think it does everything it, it needs to do, but you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, you sponsored video and all that kind of stuff. The Hart lineup, I I think that I I don't see how you can discount. Uh, a huge player like Walmart with as many stores as they have moving into this, this, uh, this, the segment and saying, Hey, we want a chunk of it. And if you're looking for some serious DIY kind of power, that M12 lineup, uh, you just, you just can't ignore it. That is so much, you know, professional grade tool in a cost affordable package that y you can't just say, well, it's not there. This has got to be an option that you really should consider. Honestly, if you got a few extra bucks to spend, I think maybe you should look at the Cobalt. I'm a huge fan of the Cobalt. Now, full disclosure, they did send me a couple tools about five years ago. I haven't talked to them since. I think that they are an excellent line of tools, and the new line, the XTR, looks fantastic. But better than me telling you what's best, why don't you guys vote down below? This is what the bear really likes to do. I like to just show you the tools 
tell you all the features, tell you what, basically what my opinion is, and then get your opinion. Because at the end of the day, you're the purchaser, you're the buyer, you're the user. So you tell me what you think is the best solution for you and why. Put it down below in the comments. Anyway, and again, if you have any other video suggestions or ideas, feel free to comment with those as well. Anyway, till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.